this problem, we're told that we have a dam that is holding back fresh water. It has a depth of 15 meters. There's a horizontal pipe in the dam at a depth of six meters. That pipe has a radius of two centimeters. There is a plug in the pipe, and we want to figure out what the friction force acting on that plug is, and then if the plug is removed, how much volume uh, will be drained in three hours. If we draw a little free body diagram of our plug, we have a friction force acting, a net friction force acting around the circumference of the plug. Then we have the pressure times the area acting to push it out. So we need the pressure at location one. We can just get that by our pressure equation. P1 equals rho G D. And that gives us that the friction force is going to be rho g d times the cross-sectional area of the pipe, which is pi r squared. And if we plug our numbers in, we get that that's about 74 newtons. Now we're asked how much of the reservoir will drain out in three hours. For that, we need Bernoulli's equations. And we'll look at the difference between P0 and P1. So we have our point 0 and point 1. We have P0 plus 1 half rho V0 squared plus rho G Y0 equals P1 plus 1 half rho V1 squared plus rho G Y1. Now some of these terms we can get rid of. P0 and P1 are the same atmospheric pressure. V0 is zero at the surface. And we know what Y1 and Y2 are. So we plug everything in and we get that V1 equals square root of 2GD, which is 10.8 meters per second. So I want to find the volume that flows out. So the change in volume is the volumetric flow rate at one times the change in time. The volumetric flow rate is V1 times A1, or A, the area of the cross-sectional area of the pipe. And then delta T, we have 10.8 meters per second. Cross-sectional area of the pipe is pi times 0 0.02 meters squared. Delta T is three hours. So we need to turn, change that to seconds. So we get um, 60 minutes per hour and 60 seconds per minute. Plug that into the calculator and we get that is 147 cubic meters. Now we're going to have to assume that the pressure, that the level of the reservoir uh, does not change during this time. Otherwise, D would be changing with time, and we'd have to do a more complicated analysis.